In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can play Sega Saturn games in RetroArch. I'm going to assume you already have RetroArch installed. If you don't, please check out my beginner's guide video. I will leave a link to that video in the description below. Also, you will need your game files. I'll be assuming you'll be dumping copies of games that you already own. Just ensure that they are in the bin queue file format. You'll also need Sega Saturn BIOS files. These are key files you need in order for the Sega Saturn emulation to function properly. However, as these files are copyrighted by Sega, you'll either have to dump the BIOS files from your Sega Saturn console, or you will have to acquire those files by some other means. In order to play Japanese Saturn games, the BIOS file you'll need is sega underscore 101.bin and in order to play North American and European Saturn games, you'll need mpr-17933.bin and once you have those files, you'll need to go to the folder where RetroArch is installed and then copy them into the system folder. Once that's done, we're ready to move on. Next, we will need to download the emulator that will run your Sega Saturn games. So open up RetroArch and go down to Online Updata and then go to Core Downloader and then scroll all the way down to Sega Saturn. And then once you're here, you'll see four Sega Saturn cores. It's entirely up to you which one you want to download, but my personal preference is Beetle Saturn. So press enter to download the core. And let's go back to the home screen. And that's the complicated part over. Now you can either add your Sega Saturn games to a playlist in RetroArch. If you don't know how to do that, please check out my RetroArch beginner's guide. Or you could go to load content and then go to the hard drive where your game files are located and then navigate to the folder where the game files are stored. Go to the game folder of your choice. So your game should consist of two different files. You'll have a single Q file and then you'll have one or more bin files. So the file you want to load is the Q file. Once you've selected the Q file, RetroArch may ask you which core you want to run the game with. Simply scroll down to Sega Saturn, Beetle Saturn, and then press enter to confirm. If you've followed all the steps correctly, you should find the Sega Saturn game has loaded successfully. Now, Sega Saturn games aren't really known for their 3D capability. Upscaling 3D-based Sega Saturn games to 4K is possible but it's a little bit glitchy. So for those of you brave enough to want to try it, go to the main menu in RetroArch and then go down to Online Updater. And then go to Core Downloader and then go all the way down to Sega Saturn. And then go to Saturn slash STV Kronos. And then press Enter to download. Once that's completed, go back to your main menu and then load up a 3D game of your choice using the Kronos Core. Once the game's loaded, press F1 to go to the quick menu and then go down to Core Options and then go down to Resolution. The first time you select this option, it should be set to Original, but feel free to experiment with different resolutions and see which results you get. Once you have selected a resolution, you need to quit RetroArch and reload it with the same game. And then you'll notice all the 3D polygon based graphics will look a lot clearer and sharper. Personally, I don't think the Sega Saturn does 3D very well. That being said, there is a huge library of amazing 2D games for the Sega Saturn, which benefits hugely from a good CRT shader preset. So the games will look originally how the developers intended them to. Please check out these two videos on the topic of shaders for my two favorite CRT shader presets by Cyberlab and Sonken. Enjoy this comparison of Sega Saturn games with and without my favorite CRT shaders.